Last week I made a couple of videos related to my Intel Mac Mini, but that hasn't stopped the flood of Mac Mini request videos coming in. So I thought I'd make a little video about the G4 version because I will also be using this one in my little home server project. So you can tell this is a G4 model because it has the 56K modem on the back and only two USB ports and it has the large vent. So this is a beautiful little machine and I haven't even properly fired it up yet. So what we're gonna do in this this video is test it out and see what it does. One thing that we are ceremoniously going to do on this channel today is unpeel the plastic from the Mac Mini power supply. Now this is an original 85 watt Mac Mini G4 power supply that still has the plastic on it. So here we go. <laughs> it's actually ripping. Because this stuff is quite old now. So there we are left with a perfectly clean Mac Mini power supply. Now, I've got to try and not get these two mixed up because the Mac Mini G4 has an 85 watt brick and the Intel Mac Mini has a 110 watt brick, but at least I know they're different. So I won't be powering the wrong system with the wrong power supply. So here we have the two minis sitting on top of my gaming PC. The Intel one is on the top for the moment and the G4 is on the bottom. Now, uh, I've kept their power supplies plugged in so I know which one's which. And as you can see, I've got the DVI, the USB, and the 3.5mm audio jack from my KVM switch plugged in, and we are going to test this directly uh, into my monitor. Now, this didn't work in the unboxing video for some reason, so I'm going to give it another go and see what it does. Here we are on the display. Now, let's press that power button. Three, two, one. Can't find the power button. Here it is. Let's go. Okay, so it spins up and bongs. Now let's see if we get anything. Now this is quite interesting. Um, we don't get any... Okay, we don't get any signal, but I can hear the hard drive spinning. So that's quite interesting. Now Callum did say that to get this to work, you need to use a uh, DVI to VGA adapter. So, um, I've got to have one of those lying around somewhere. Success, all the way from another YouTube donation. Now all I've got to do is run a VGA lead to one of my computer screens. I never really like the bulkiness of DVI to VGA adapters, but if it has to be done, it has to be done. It's pretty much nearly the width of the entire machine, again, on the back, including that little black bit on the cable. But anyway, let's try this mini again. So it's now on this monitor because this is where the VGA cable was coming from. Let's power it up. There's the bong and we should see some display. Now, um, while I was looking for my adapter, I did indeed do a little bit of a Google search and apparently a few people have this issue with um, DVI outputs and but a DVI to VGA adapter should work. So I'm hoping to see something on the screen pretty soon. And there we go, there it is, the Apple logo. So this mini does, it does indeed work. And there's just something completely uh, amiss with the DVI. And it seems to be a common thing for G4 Mac minis, but that doesn't matter because I'll be using a, uh, I'll primarily be using screen sharing, but when I do need to use a local display, I will be using the VGA KVM. So I'll be ordering two nice Apple DVI to VGA adapters, and then I'll be using the uh, Belkin KVM that was also donated to me. So that'll be a really nice little setup. Um, the KVM won't be used a lot. It'll be permanently in the setup, but it won't be used a lot, of course, because I won't need to uh, access the servers like that uh, very much. So I've got a few little plans for this G4. The Intel version is going to be the main file server, um, just because it's quicker and it's got some more. It's got more RAM. I believe this has got a gig of RAM in, and I just upgraded the Intel Mac Mini to two gigs of RAM. So if you haven't seen that video, please check it out. But anyway, here we are booting up, and uh, I'll be intrigued to see what operating system is on this machine. So here we are at a blue screen, and we do have a cursor in the corner. So. Wow, 
okay. Wow. Yeah, cool. So this is running Mac OS X Leopard Server. Check that out, guys. So, um... I can't get in. <laughs> I can't get in. Let's just have a little go at this. Now this is handy. This is really handy. Okay, so I'm gonna need to remove. Uh, un Bloody hell, guys! I just literally dropped my uh, my HTC One. That's the first ever time I've dropped it. I just knocked it off my desk. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I'm going to need to uh, gain access to this Mac Mini. So, we're going to have to do the same thing with this Mac Mini that we did with the last one after I upgraded the hard drive. And that is make a new admin account. Now, to do that, we are going to boot into single user mode by holding down Command S. Now, I'm not sure if this works for the server edition, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to have to find that out, but, you know, you can only really do that by trying, so uh, here we go. Here we are in single-user mode. We have a better resolution on this one. Well, it's a worse resolution, so it's uh, easier to see. So the first thing we need to do is indeed mount the drive. Now, I've got the, uh, the notes on my phone that I took a picture of uh, a second ago. So, to mount the drive, we are going to type in the following. Mount dash UW slash. Uh, okay, let's just carry on. Set up done. No such file or directory. Okay, let me pause for a sec. All right, guys, now I've got it. I typed it in wrong again. So we're going to type in reboot to uh, reboot the system. So we should indeed now be greeted with the uh, Leopard intro video after it boots up, which will be great. So here we are with the Apple logo. Now, I'm not quite sure if you get intro videos on the server install, but we will soon find out. Here we go, grey screen, and should be giving us an intro. Okay, so it looks like we do not get an intro video on this edition. Just the welcome, straight up. Oh, uh, we've hit a snag. We need a serial number for Mac OS X server, so let me try and find one of them online. Okay guys, let's see if uh, random online serial numbers will work. Continue. Ah, oh, no. Damn it. Right, I may have just typed it in wrong. I'll just check. So, everyone, I can't find a legitimate serial number for this install. Um, I will carry on trying, but that's pretty much it for this video. Um, this is just testing the system anyway, and we know the system works. It's actually behaving really well. It's great to know that it's got an install of OS X server on it already. However, we are probably going to have to reinstall OS X server. Um, you know, I'll just get um, a brand new download that'll come with the, the right version to get unlocked with the serial number that it comes with. Or get a, a crack or a key gen or whatever they come with. Um, now, it's a bit odd having a serial number for a Mac operating system. I'm never really used to that. Um, and of course, with Windows, you don't have to enter your serial number on setup. You can install and you can run the operating system for 30 days while you retrieve a serial number and then you uh, then you put it in, which can be extremely handy because you can just carry on tricking the system into thinking that you've uh, inputted a serial number and stuff because you know it's Windows. But of course, 
with this kind of operating system, you have to put a serial number in, in the installer. And of course, you know, legitimately, and you know, if you were doing this properly, you just have your serial number right there and you'd smash it in and good to go. Because, you know, if you're in a school or a small business or whatever, running Mac OS X server. Anyway, this is all by the by useless information. Hope you guys have enjoyed this Mac Mini G4 related video. I promise that we will get into it a little bit more once I get uh, an operating system on here and I'll probably make a dedicated video about getting an operating system on here too. It probably won't be tomorrow's video um, because it's my birthday today. Um, you're watching this on Wednesday, so Wednesday is my birthday and I won't be making a video on my birthday. So I'll just make a quick video um, to uh, to fill Thursday's gap, but uh, hopefully it'll still be an entertaining one. But I won't have enough time to make a video of installing an operating system yet. That could possibly be a Friday thing, or maybe even a next week thing, because there are a couple of other things that I want to show you this week. So anyway, rambling aside guys, I hope you've really enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. I've noticed the thumbs up are increasing in the videos ever since I've been asking, so I'm going to carry on asking. It's really cool. Um because your support means a lot to me guys. I'm doing this a lot now and spending tons and tons of time on the channel. So of course I need to know if I'm doing it for a good enough reason and if if plenty of people are enjoying it and I do see a decent little bit of return from that then you know that's good enough for me and I, I just love making these videos and carrying on. So an extension to that, if you head down into the video description you can see a load of my stuff down there, um, loads of useful links, um, lots of social networking and lots of stuff to do with donating and whatnot as well um, so have a read have a peruse and if you need to contact me my email address is down there as well so thank you very much for watching as always guys and of course plenty more and you know at least between these two probably 10 more videos to come on these mac minis so really really exciting stuff guys i'll see you tomorrow in what should be a really nice little video